Lockheed Martin has developed an exoskeleton technology that's a lower body, uh, lower extremity system. It's a powered knee system that transfers the, uh, 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 an actuator signal to the knees to power you through your motion. What that does is it reduces the metabolic cost of transport for walking, and particularly on steep terrain, uh, staircases, urban canyons, subterranean levels, things like that. So operators in general uh, require an exoskeleton because they're carrying heavy and heavy loads over greater and greater distances uh, to get between where they're being inserted and where their objective is. That's just a, a matter of fact. What we're trying to do is prevent the injury to that guy uh, by reducing his, his fatigue. In addition to that, we make them a little bit more, uh, we improve their endurance. We, we improve their ability to stay on task for longer durations by reducing that fatigue. So right now we're at TRL-6 uh, with the base technology. We'll be taking that to TRL-8 probably this year. Uh, we're working with the Army, uh, with the PEO soldier, with uh, the Rapid e uh, Equipping Force, uh, and with SOCOM, all in an effort to bring this technology to its readiness level that we can now field it.